we will consider a model a very popular model called as monroe's motivational sequence which has five stages to be able to frame our persuasive speeches i will share now stage by stage different steps that we need to consider while we are outlining and presenting a persuasive speech the first sequence or first part of the sequence would be attracting the attention of the audience to a specific topic and the best way to do that would be to either use a visual aid maybe a graphic design or a movie or anything like that uh, or another way of seeking attention or getting audience attention would be by using statistics facts and figures let me quickly give you a small example talking about greenery of bangalore 40 years ago bangalore was 60% green covered but over a period of time today bangalore is approximately 18 to 19% green covered and there is a drastic change that hap that's happening every on an everyday basis and yes we can't just get okay about it there is something that we need to do about it there is something that i want all of you to do some uh, about it and which is where we come up with simple concepts around global warming carbon footprint and maybe things like how we can decrease carbon footprint from each one of us so quickly if i can revamp and go back to the main point is attracting attention of the audience using some evidence using some fact and figure or a visual design the second stage or step in the monroe's motivational sequence would be essentially to explain or prove the inefficiencies in the existing solution to solve the problem so let us take the example of global warming and the solutions that we are proposing is around being able to decrease carbon footprint by each one of us so here one is we have to give evidences of how the new method is going to bring about a greater difference in what we intend to do to be able to solve the global warming problem and on the other hand we are also substantiating that this new solution is going to bring in a great difference it is going to be revolutionary it is going to be highly relevant promising and positive so when we are talking about carbon footprint the problem of carbon footprint we are talking about how each one of us can play a role and bring down the carbon footprint from each one of us we are actually then trying to convince people that yes each one of us can play a role to be able to bring down carbon footprint and improvise the green cover on the planet mother earth the next step would be around convincing and satisfying the audience with the new solution helping them understand the solution in the fullest way and give them the confidence that this is a workable solution let us pick up something as simple as swachh bharat abhiyan picked up by our dearest prime minister shri narendra modi something which all of us would uh, have not believed can come up in a very big way whenever i remember whenever we question do you think india can ever be clean in our uh, younger days when we were a part of our supw class people would say that's absolutely not possible every second person would spit every second person would go and pee on the road side and if that is the case it's absolutely not going to be a possibility that india is ever going to be clean but our pm picked up something very very simple very very genuine and something very important for a country like india and asked invited every indian to be a part of swachh bharat abhiyan where he tells that you take care of cleanliness of your place of your venue and another way he convinces everybody is that invest 100 hours in ensuring cleanliness in your locality and that's a very simple thing that most of us have been even told or preached by either our parents teachers or gurus 
that we do our bit and the rest of it will happen so when we are trying to explain or uh, talk on a topic as a part of a persuasive speech we have to convince people that this is a workable solution and the workable solution with respect to a swachh bharat abhiyan would be that i will or we will invest 2 hours every month in keeping our surrounding areas clean and is that a possibility i am sure all of us would tell yes kudos let's go the next stage or the next step in the sequence is something that is very close to my heart and that's around ha- pushing in a positive stroke into the audience which is by sharing a visual around how the new solution or the new perspective that we are trying to put across is going to bring in a great difference in what we intend to do as a new solution to an existing problem the best way to do it is to foresee and forecast a future visual it could be again in the form of a graphics design or in the form of a movie and let me continue the same example that i picked up in my previous step which is around swachh bharat abhiyan so i am sure all of us would love to see india or let's let's keep india aside most of us are from smaller cities in india and we see that even the market places like the bestest market places uh, as a matter of fact i know there is mg road in almost every city in the country so if we see and if we practice swachh bharat abhiyan in the simplest way by not dumping stuff by not spitting and by not peeing on the road side the roads will be much cleaner so the video the visual that i am talking about to push in the positive stroke can actually foresee and show people how a clean road will make people feel good about their own city make people feel good and want to go to mg road again and again because of the kind of cleanliness that exists on the road i am sure foreseeing and forecasting something as positive promising and relevant as one of the examples that i shared will bring in the motivation in people to be able to take up the action towards the topic that one of us would want to share and finally we come to our fifth step or the stage of monroe's motivational sequence and that is the most important thing because it's more action oriented so the fifth stage is all about motivating people motivating your audience to take a step to take some action towards the topic that you've spoken to them about and let me pick up a simple example and a new example compared to the other two that i spoke about uh, and the new example would be managing your time and uh, again we use a positive stroke and this is more from an action point of view so we push in a positive stroke telling that i invite all of you to try and invest your time in something which is going to be more important less urgent and add value to our future lives to make sense and add value to what we intend to do in our life and most importantly the motivation is to be created to be able to help people make a decision and move forward and last but not the least which is a part of the fifth stage is to summarize the entire thing one we start with the problem statement or the concern area or the topic under discussion and we tell how it is a very important topic and needs everybody's attention we use facts figures visual aids second we try and this time focus on the new solutions that are being pitched and once the new solutions are pitched then we ask for each one of them who's there in the audience to take an action and add value to themselves and the environment around in simple something as simple as monroe's motivational sequence might just be very very useful while we are delivering our persuasive speech